What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new Star Wars video, either a somber one or a celebratory one, depending on how you felt about Colin Trevorrow, as that director has now left episode 9 and will not be directing the film. Now, I don't think you should ever celebrate something like this happening, personally, even if you did have reservations about the choice, which I did, but this has landed us in a really, really interesting situation. Disney and Lucasfilm have now had two, or I guess three, three very, very high-profile departures from very, very high-profile films in the last three months. First, Phil Lord and Chris Miller were fired from Han Solo, despite being 80% of the way through production, leading to ridicule and mild mass hysteria about the state of that film, and lots of existentialist angst about the art of filmmaking and studio involvement and if the two can ever really coexist. Then, or now, I guess, we have Trevorrow's departure, which comes as a little bit of a major surprise to casual viewers, but maybe not to some pundits who felt like he might not have been the best fit for the job in the first place. But why did Trevorrow leave? That's an interesting and complex question. In some ways, the situation is really similar to the Lord and Miller departure, and in some ways, it's affected by it. The Hollywood Reporter was the first to have the major details on Trevorrow's ouster in an article from Boris Kitt and Mia Galupo. It seems that scripting issues had plagued the film from its outset, with the finger pointing mostly to Trevorrow, if the studio's to be believed, who initially had free reign on the script, basically, of course, while taking cues and direction from where Rian Johnson had left The Last Jedi. That free reign was a little less free than potentially advertised, as Trevorrow reportedly had multiple attempts at a draft of the script, none of which quite worked for the studio, putting a strain on that director-studio relationship even further. The old script issues dilemma took another step in the road to this conclusion in August, when Lucasfilm hired British playwright Jack Thorne, who's probably best known for writing the stage production of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, to overhaul the script. According to the THR report, by that point, the relationship between Lucasfilm and Disney and Trevorrow was just frayed beyond repair. I mean, despite having only just recently had a high-profile firing and reportedly not wanting to dive right back into that drama, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy saw no other option at this point. And so, here we are. Episode 9 currently has no director, but the wheels are moving quickly and the film is set to begin shooting next year ahead of a release in 2019. So let me know what you guys think of this departure and who you'd like to see take over the reins in the comment section down below. But what I really, really want to know is, were you ever really sold on Trevor Rowe as an option? I know, especially after Jurassic World, which so many people really loved, he seemed like a pretty natural pick. I mean, it's a, a similar vein for the fran those two separate franchises. They're moving in a kind of a similar direction. But, of, I mean, he's, he's had some, some ups and downs. His most recent film, Book of Henry, of course, was a spectacular flop. Uh, so I'm just curious, were you guys ever really behind him, or are you happy that he's gone? Maybe happy, not the right word, but maybe you think it's the best for the project. Let me know down below. That's going to do it for me here, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day. And consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ and I'll see you next time.